Hello everybody, this is Jovian Videos and this video is a different one from nor the usual videos I make because this is a video I'm just making because I'm sure there's like a lot of people wondering like when they watch my videos some of you probably wonder you know what started your fascination for this stuff like you know spirit animatronics or just in general how did it start I mean it's gonna be probably kinda of long but it started with very simple things things you wouldn't expect as you see I was born in the 90s, so I was actually born before a lot of this stuff came out. Oh, I was born while it was coming out. Like, so I got, I was like a kid. All this stuff you've seen in my videos in this room was in my childhood. And that's kind of, you know, everything that's in this room I grew up with or had as a kid or, you know, I got to grow up with. Whereas in most of you guys were probably born quite a bit after some of this stuff like see I was born in the late 90s so this stuff was j stuff like animatronics or motor motorized toys were just starting so I feel like I I'm lucky to have been born during that time but if you really want to know like the things that started it believe it or not are these two items I don't remember which one was first the Santa or the chicken either way they were the first I guess and apparently I was terrified of them both when I first saw it. like I my parents tell me like when they got the chicken when they played it I screamed cried and yelled same with this Santa they're not scary but to me they were scary as a kid I was like two years old this was and you know I, I, I was two years two years old so this was in 1998 mind you so you know and this is the exact one from when I was two years old. The same exact one. I mean, a lot of not a lot of my childhood items made it. This one did. So you know, you know, I, it didn't take me long to get used to these things. I was scared of them for a few minutes, and then I liked them. Um, so then, you know, the, these used to be at Walmart. I think I got this from an uncle, and this one I guess my parents or someone got, I don't know. They probably regret buying it for me because it started all this, but th that's the story here. Um, but, you know, w back then I used to only shop at Walmart and KB Toys. That's where most of my stuff came from, and Spencer's. Spencer's wasn't as dirty as far as I know back then as it was now, but I, I don't know. But that, those were the main three places I went to, to find this stuff as a kid. Uh... This stuff, it's not like this stuff was, you know, on a high top shelf in the back of the store. No, it was in the middle of the store, just in eye, eye level. I saw them. I remember still see. I remember to this day seeing them. It's, you know, it started off with, in the, I mean, after these, you know, let's see. There's just, you know, I, I always used to get, you know, toys that had the same animation. So any toy that moved like this, I would get it. Or any toy that moved differently, I would get it. It didn't matter. And I wouldn't, you know, like these chickens, I think I've had probably seven of these. Um, you know, that's why I collect a lot of these. These are the Great American Fun Corp items. That's why I collect them, because I had them growing up. And I had a lot of them. I just don't have as many now, because most of them didn't last. This one lasted for some reason. I mean, you can see how old it is. Um, but after these, it came, uh, all I remember is, you know, the gorillas came next. Great Balls of Fire, Hot Hot Hot. Then it was, you know... The Macarena that I got for my third birthday, which you know, every single grill that I got with a different face scared me. So every single one of these that have a different face scared me when I first got them. I have footage of that. I uploaded it to my channel and Joe jo Bean VHS. I uploaded the full birthday series video. Uh, so yeah, then it was the Macarena. Then my aunt and uncle got me the uh, Macho Man and the Fun 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 Gorilla, which does not exist in my collection and hasn't since 2002. Then I had the gold suit, tick tick tack version. And then after that came the Dancing Cactuses, first the Great American Fun Corp ones, the ones that seen I, I am a cactus or whatever. I, I had 11 of those. I don't have any now. They all broke. Then these, actually the Great American Fun Corp ones came before the Jimmy ones. And actually the cactus I think were the first ones to have that animation. So all these other ones that have that animation came after the cactuses. I got every toy that had that animation after those cactuses came out. <laughs> but then these came, the KB toys, the purple ones. The, these are the Jimmy ones. I had ten of these. I have, well I've had, I have seven, well, six. I gave three to Bailey. I still have three in my collection. Uh, three of them did not make it. <laughs> 
Same with the palm trees. I, I don't remember how many I had of those, but not as many as the cactuses, but I still had a lot of them. And then, so after the gorillas came the dancing Santas. Uh, you know, the Here Comes Santa Claus and the Black Saxophone Santa. I got those for Christmas in 2000. Like I said, this was all in stores when I was a kid. That's how I, that's why, I'm, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, into ex into one thing. I'm into everything that was battery operated. Everything. You know, the weasel balls. I don't know. I don't remember the year I got my first one, but I had at least 200 of these. Not even exaggerating. If I went through my bucket of tails, because I used to keep all the tails, because to me, all the faces were different, so I was able to tell each one apart. If I went to my bucket in the shed right now, I could go through them all and point out exactly which one was my very first one. I don't remember exactly what order I got them all in, but I remember which one my first one looks like. <sighs> so, it's just things like that. Um, they're still at Cracker Barrel to this day, but uh, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, the Santas, you know. Again, as I was saying, all this stuff came out with when I was a kid. That's what I had access to getting all this stuff. Whereas, you know, nowadays they don't make it as much as they used to. You know, a lot of you, like I said, a lot of you that are watching this channel were born way after all this stuff. <laughs> like this is all collectible, I collect collectors' items now. They're not, you know, new toys I can play with. They're like vintage collectibles now. <laughs> um, you know, and like I said, there's a lot of people that are exclusive to things. Like, there's some people that are just Halloween or like Mr. John John over there. <laughs> He's like exclusively into the gorillas. And, you know, there's people with ex exclusive interests. Me, it's like, again, everything battery operated. Because I literally had every battery operated toy as a kid. No, Like, the, the bumping goes. I had, first I got the rats, then I got the Hulks, and then I got the Spider-Man on the vehicles, and the Fantastic Fours, and so on. You know, then, you know, the Crawling Army Men. It started off with the SWAT team and the Jungle Sniper. And, you know, then I started trying to get... Then a few days later, I went back to get all the different kinds. And then I got doubles and quadruples and so on. You know, it's just... Um... You know, it all started from little things like this, and then, you know, it, to me, and the companies didn't matter. As a kid, I didn't know nothing about companies. As a matter of fact, even in 2009, I didn't know anything about the companies that made this stuff yet. I just didn't focus on it. It didn't matter. I didn't care. All it was, it was all battery-operated toys to me. That's all it was, you know. So, I remember clearly the first time I saw the Techie Toys logo on one of the Evil Cauldron Witch when I was trying to fix it. I said techie toys. I didn't know what it even meant. So, anyways, back... I mean, again, it was all the same thing to me. Like, it was all scene and dance and stuff. And, you know, what started it for Halloween for me is when... I got my very first floating ghost. I mean, because I had things before the floating ghost that were Halloween. You know, like... This ghost, this was my first biggish Halloween item. I always tell you guys that, but it didn't start a new to me. It was still a battery operator, like, like I had those way before this floating ghost, you know. But to me, they were just singing dancing toys. It, but this, when I got the floating ghost, it changed, it opened a whole new door of uh, thing because then Halloween became a separate thing to me, a separate thing, like. I tried to get all the different kinds of floating ghosts. Like two days later, literally, I went back for the other two, the female ghost and the Grim Reaper. Then I just started going to Kmart and getting more stuff. That was the first year I actually went to Kmart too. I think I got, you know, well, I originally had the Fickle Reaper that the eyes pop in and out, but I returned it. And that thing's where I haven't seen that thing since I've owned it. But I got Big Head Jingles instead, and then the Spider Wind Chimes. Then the next year I got the Fickle Reaper, the one that sways, and the two headed. Big Head Drac and the Two-Headed Reapers, you know. But the Halloween started because of the Floating Ghost, and the Floating Ghost started because of the other bad rapper. Because, you know, because on the back of the box on this ghost, it showed a, a Reaper version that had the same face. So when I was in the store and looking at the Halloween stuff, I was playing with all the stuff, and my, my grandpa was going to buy me something, and he just he was getting impatient. He was like, can we go just pick one? And I picked that because I thought maybe it was the other version of this. But it was way cooler than this. So 
it opened a whole new door for me. And then, you know, 2006 came along, then the Spirit Balls came out. 2007 came along, the Magnificent Maggot, the Scary Skull Head, you know, all the stuff, the dropping heads, the bleeding heads. In uh, then 2009 came around, Spirit Halloween, which was almost 10 years ago already. <laughs> it's weird to think that. Um, and my first spirit prop was like technically the wild witch and the hovering ghost but I only had the wild witch for a day and it got returned because the mortar died right away and I never got a replacement but my rising reaper with the pumpkin was I mean I sometimes I count that as my first but at the same time it wasn't it was the hovering ghost and the wild witch but I got those rising from the graves from Menards but those were also that spirit so it was yeah anyways 2009 it you know it turned into spirit halloween then so because before that it was a bunch of hanging things or small shaking things you know but spirit halloween 2009 me getting my first spirit props changed that and you know and it's the same with the robots i mean i wasn't into robots as like right away like i got the robo in the year it came out 2004 the chrome one then I got the Robo Raptor the year, it came, the year it came out, but I wasn't really into them that much, you know. I got into robots when I got my first pink Robo Pet at a rummage sale in 2007. I don't have my original one, but it was so cool. It was like, you know, I like, and that, the thing I liked about the old rob robots is they actually walked on legs. They didn't have wheels, you know. Now they're all, the new robots these days don't really impress me as much as those ones did. Like the Robo Pets were just. It opened the door, the robot door for me because after that I got Robo Reptile, then I got you know the Turbo Fighter from Walmart and the Mars robots and the Mini Robo Sapiens, all the different colors, and then uh, you know I think I, that Christmas I got the Spider Sapien and Robo Quad, and then I got you know a few Christmases later I got v, the Robo Sapien V2 and the RS Media, and you get it. Like again, it the robot do gate opened because of the pink Robo Pet. See. They all opened from different things, but really, again, what started it was these two things. You know, and like, you know, I collected the Neo Pets. You know, the Micro Pets. Where, where is the Micro? I have all those. I have examples of everything down here. <laughs> oh, the Micro Pets. <laughs> you know, little, they're little robot uh, pets that walk around. They're, you know, micro creatures. The mini Robo Sapien, the only one I have left from back then, the Chrome Blue one. I, yeah. Uh, then of course, you know, 2007 is when the first hex bugs came out, the ones that just crawl. And then 2009, the hex bug nanos came out. Those were those are still available today. They were set. They were they were a great seller. I had a bunch of these. I have a lot of them still. I just haven't used them. And I had the Zuzu pets, but I stopped collecting those because the sets they made for them were too big. You couldn't you just ran out of room with these with the tracks that these come with you can you know elevate them but the Zuzu pets you can't but I stopped collecting hex bugs too because they just didn't stop making them you know first it was the originals and it was the crabs and it was the ants the interns the nanos the larvas scarabs and now whatever the hell there is there's so many now that I've probably missed out on <laughs> um, like I said it all started and, but to me, it was all battery-operated stuff, so, you know, that's why I'm into everything, and that's why, you know, it's hard for me to make room for everything and afford to get everything. Because everything I had as a kid, I want to have again, because a lot, a lot of my original ones just didn't make it. So, like, you know, I mean, two more years, and this one's going to be 10 years old already. A lot of this stuff is, like, it's just hard to believe that a lot of this stuff in this room, like was made before a lot of the people that are watching my channel and then of course 2009 came along where I started making videos on YouTube and that created the community that we're in today <laughs> you know and of course don't forget the aqua pets my very first one still my favorite one actually now of course they're all evaporated and they're all moldy as hell I mean, look at this ridiculous I had all of these except for four literally every single one except for four there was like there was only one of the liquid freaks I didn't have 
and one of them is three aqua pets so one of the ones with the clear bottoms one of them from series one and then one other one that but other than that i literally had them all this is the Carlos Dancing Cactus. This, this is what I was talking about. This is the one that was made before the Jimmy ones. This is the first item I had that had that back and forth swaying mechanism or whatever. And that started with all those. So, yeah, it's, like I said, an interest like, like, like this started from something as simple as that. <laughs> it's you know and especially when you're this stuff is in stores when you're a kid seeing this stuff and being able to obtain it you know my first hamster my first hamster was the kung fu one which was also from an aunt and uncle that started my hamster question and you know the neopets my first neopets were from for my birthday too from also from an aunt and uncle that started a neopet collection it's just you know it was just new things all the time there was constantly new stuff in stores every time i went to the store there was something new and i always got it you can name probably any battery operated from the mid 2000s or late 90s and i'd probably know like kevin is exclusively on those basic robots that walk into the 360 but that's because he grew up with those like like i didn't really have those as a kid i mean i got my first turbo fighters that's the closest thing i had to those in 2007 and it was still in stores but besides that i didn't really have any of the ones that walked and did the 360 as a kid because i didn't see them in stores but i probably didn't go to the toy aisle as much i mostly like you know even I, i'm sure i was in the toy aisle a lot like at kb toys and obviously you know walmart but it's just that even if i saw them i wouldn't have recognized them because I didn't like those toys that were, you know, action figures that you have to play with because those robots when they're in the box, they look like action figures. So I probably could have just missed them. I didn't notice they were something that moved. You know, if something looked like an action figure that didn't move, I didn't want it. I only wanted stuff that moved by themselves. I, I liked things that were sound activated because I'd try to make them go at the same time or make each other go or make them stop at the same time and I would get overstimulated by I, I actually still do sometimes <laughs> but you know the pop culture series my first was hank williams then i got james brown and then the three stooges and like i said it just all the stuff i got as a kid and i'm trying to regain some of them that i don't have anymore or, or add to it you know complete the series because like i said it's collectible now it's not in production anymore and hasn't been for years you know people that were born in like 2000 were too young to know what the floating ghosts were so like by the time they were three they missed them you know <laughs> uh you know the one item that i didn't see as a kid was douglas fur and that's what started bailey's collection dip douglas fur came out the year i was born i believe and i never saw Douglas. And in fact i didn't even know about douglas fur until the year that i got mine which was in 2010 so <laughs> I didn't see the rock sandas in stores, but I got the the bear version in stores at Spencer's. But I again, when I was like two or three years old, I was pretty young to notice a lot of this stuff, especially if there was no store display. Like those sandas, Walmart used to have those on store display. They used to have those because they used to be in boxes where you couldn't play them, but they had store displays of each of the different kinds. So it was really fun. Like I said, I just wanted to tell, talk a little bit about that because I'm sure there was people that were wondering, you know, how I got into everything. Like, and that's how, because literally all this was in stores in my childhood, literally. Like, it was in stores, then it got discontinued, and there was something else. But, like I said, and like I said, back then, companies didn't matter to me. It was all the same shit. It was all Halloween. It was all battery-operated stuff. It didn't matter. <laughs> as long as it took batteries and did something, I wanted it. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really into remote control cars much. I mean, like, something that took batteries and moved on its own. Something that I didn't have to physically move or, you know. I just, I don't know, because, like I said, it started with those. And I know it's a mess down there. I just brought all those down for examples. But, as you can see, my collection's gotten pretty out of hand. And now I'm at two storage units plus sheds full and two rooms full of stuff. And, of course, this is, I don't even have half the stuff I had as a kid. I mean, I have a lot of it, but half of it I do not have. And I'm still trying to regain to this day. Like that, I will never stop 
on that fun, fun, fun gorilla until I regain it. I will never, I, I, the gorilla collection is something that I'm going to finish. The Army Man series is something I'm going to finish. There's a lot of series I'm going to finish. <laughs> a lot of stuff that I'm not going to stop searching for until I regain it. <laughs> I never used to keep boxes as a kid because, you know, boxes didn't matter to me. I just wanted the item, you know. But now they're collectible and now people keep boxes. But, yeah. I mean, back then my parents didn't think this stuff was going to be, you know, a thing. Nobody did. It was... It was just something different that nobody else did, and now it's more common, but at the same time, it's it's still the same. A lot of people still don't really know about this stuff. You know, like, random people at, you know, I don't know. Just, I was just trying to talk a little bit about it. And, like, again, I'm into all this stuff because it was all around when I was a kid, so that, and it always turned into, like, the newer, if I was still a kid today and I saw all this new stuff, I would still be probably getting it. Like, you know, there's a lot of kids who, like, I always use this as an example. There's a lot of kids that are growing up with those weird twerking shit that they're putting on the shelves these days and stuff. And, I mean, they obviously, some of those kids like it because that's what they're growing up with. But I like all this stuff because this is what I grew up with. And I think that this is the real good stuff here. I, but, and again, I, w I was born when it basically started, so I didn't really miss anything but there's a lot of people that watch my channel that missed a lot of this. <laughs> you know, I remember seeing those back in stores. Like, you know, I didn't get my first one until they were already discontinued in 2008. That's when I got this. And, you know, this is the 2002 model. I remember seeing, I don't know, Frosty or the Blue Vest. I might have saw, I probably saw both of them in stores. But I never got one back then because, you know, they just hip swinged. And even though I had hip swinging Santas, I didn't know what to think of them. Because they were in that window box where they just hip swing and they didn't move their arms. I didn't read boxes back then. So when it, the box said, take me home, I tipped my hat and spin my snowflakes. I didn't read that. I just looked at the item. I didn't look at prices back then. I just looked at the item. You know? But things were cheap back then. Like a floating ghost was $15 or $20 at the most. Now, what? 150 on eBay? For like the, what? The most common variation? The Grim Reaper or something? <laughs> You know, this, this stuff was not expensive back then. Now, like I said, a tabletop is $25. Like, you know, that Dragon, or that's that's $25 at Big Lots, you know. You know, back then, it, would, yeah, it wouldn't even be that expensive. Like, the Gorillas were probably like eight bucks back then. Who even knows? <laughs> if they made them today, obviously, again, they would be 25 or something. Everything's like $25 now, no matter what the size is. As long as it does something, it's like, yeah. I mean, these were like $50, $60 back then. These were a little more expensive, but they were built with quality, and they're actually built well, that's why. Like those Jimmy Hip Swinging Santas, those were only $20 back then. And that's actually a good deal for something that has that much animation and was constructed fairly well. They're, they break a lot now because they're old. That's what happens when things get old. Plastic gets bad when it gets old. You can't do nothing about that. But, you know, these were $10 and then now all of a sudden they're, you know, $150, $200 on eBay people pay for them. But, you know, the prices on those changed in like 2011. They made the crappy models for like $20. But... You know, I'm just saying, this stuff was affordable back then. That's also how I got so much back then. It was just cheap. You know. So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. You know, and all those people like the same stuff. <laughs> you know. I just... I Like I said, I took some stuff down to show because I had to I took some stuff in there so I could lift it up and show what I meant see like these are newer robots but to me they're not as good as the older ones just because you know it's part of the newer generation but even these are old now these aren't as popular anymore as they were but these break a lot that's the I don't I don't really use any of my stuff the way I did as a kid like as a kid I used it non-stop like those gorillas cactus I would use like I said I would use all my sound activated items and have them all turned on all day long for hours 
batteries you're probably wondering how what I did with batteries well you know back then I didn't even use energizer batteries I used these cheap blue heavy duty batteries that die in like 15 minutes literally but they were batteries were cheaper back then too especially those batteries you know you could get like a 24 or maybe even more than that for a very cheap price and you know when I went into second or third grade I started using rechargeable batteries I actually had enough chargeable batteries for all my stuff but all my rechargeable batteries throughout the years lost their charge and didn't charge anymore to full power you know I had I had a lot of rechargeable batteries I had 15 minute battery chargers so the batteries would be charged in 15 minutes I had like six of those 15 minute chargers so they, they would charge fast I would just keep on charging them like those floating ghosts they would die pretty fast with regular batteries I just used chargeables in those but I think those chargeable batteries actually killed the motors in a lot of my stuff because I noticed my floating ghosts when I watched my videos they didn't move very fast and I think that's because of the chargeables because when I use regular batteries they move a lot faster they were they were energizer rechargeable batteries but the boxes do say on these things do not use rechargeable batteries so I don't know oh yeah and the fur balls I forgot that I you know I collected fur balls too but yeah And the Furbies too. My first one was a witch Furby. Well, my first one was actually a jester, but it didn't work, so we returned it and I got the witch. Like I said, I was scared of a lot of my the stuff the I was scared of a lot of the stuff the first day I got. Like those jumping monkeys that came out or the bamboos I guess now. The scene Papa Mau Mau. I mean I was scared of that when I first got it, but then I liked it. I was scared of that Swain ghost when I got it, but then I started liking that the next day. Yeah. So I don't really know what else to say. I'm sure I'll think of plenty of things after this video is done, but... You know? That's why I like everything, because literally everything was available back then. I mean, it still is on eBay, but, you know, for a price, and they just... They don't work today the way they did back then, you know. When you, if you buy, you know, if if you buy anything, all that actually requires fixing, and some of it's fixable, some of it is not. I mean, some of it sometimes you have to scrap others to get ones some working, or I don't know. Back then, you would buy them from the stores and they'd work for a while, but when you were like me and constantly used them, they <laughs> didn't last too long. But nowadays, yeah, they they can still be brand new, but they won't work because the, you know the plastic just breaks. So it wouldn't have mattered if. I didn't use them a lot they would have ended up breaking but the first things I learned how to fix were the army men and the floating ghost but I've had a lot of the army men but most of my childhood ones don't exist anymore of the army men these are all replacements and I'm I still don't have even though I have a lot believe it or not I still don't have all the different generations or variations or kinds I mean back then I did but you know there's a lot more generations now and you know, they're still, they've still been discontinued for a long time, but there's still a lot of different generations and models, so. And I'm just one of those people that are trying to keep, you know, the memories of this stuff alive. That's why I started, you know, making videos, you know, 2007 is when I started, and when I, when I, is when I got my own video camera and started making videos in stores. 2007 was a big year for me. Probably the most rememberable years of my life. Just because I got a video camera and I got to take footage of Halloween stuff that was in stores and I provided content for the future, you know, so everybody can actually watch it because it's on YouTube now. That's why I started the Jobian VHS channel because I wanted to bring those times back, but I haven't been doing much on that channel because, like I said, the 400 DVDs is the same things over and over again. It's just, I don't know how much people care about watching the same thing over and over. It's just a different day, you know? Yeah, but, yeah. Again, 2007 was a big year for me, and it's weird that it's over 10 years. It's 11 years ago now. And now it's in 2009 is approaching, which means it's going to be 10 years since my Spirit Halloween collection started. So it's just it's just hard for me to process that a lot of you, again, a lot of the people that watch this channel were not even around 
when this stuff was in production or just you know <laughs> so yeah but I'm glad there I actually made the content that I did when this stuff was like alive but I wish I had a camera earlier in my life like back like because you know back then you know there was no you know the the smartphones were not out yet there was no Nintendo or I mean there I mean that came out in like 2000 the Nintendo Game Boy or whatever came out in 2007 or something that's when I, I got mine but I didn't really care about it the Wii wasn't even out yet so you know back then I was into this shit other people were into you know just sports or remote control cars I didn't like I said I just liked exclusively battery operated toys that moved on their own it was enough to entertain me but it drove my parents crazy <laughs> But it's, again, me making videos of this stuff started a new hobby, for I think, for everyone. Because like I said, I just, back then before I started posting videos on YouTube, I didn't see people doing what I did, you know. I just, it wasn't really a thing. And my parents knew that. My parents tried to get me into other things like sports. And I remember when, I, when my parents got me the first PlayStation, I think I was six years old when that came out. I didn't care about it. I didn't play it. I just, I just didn't. So, Yeah. <laughs> That's that's basically my story, guys. I don't know what else you I want and should say, but you know those those walking animals right there. Those used to be still at KB Toys. I had so many of those. I only all of them are broken. You're like those broke fast. You either there was either so many that I ended up stepping on them or they just broke. The gears split, and I didn't know about split gears until 2015 when I met Bailey. Because a, a lot of my stuff could have been saved from my childhood could have been saved, but yeah. But like those walking animals, I had a bunch of dogs, I had two elephants, two zebras, a few horses, some bulls, I had a pig, two sheep, a uh, cheetah, a snow tiger, I I had a lot of, four or three gorillas, um, it was fun watching them all go around, I had two hippos, it was just, yeah, again, the stuff they had at stores back then was just it was just always fun to go to stores and see stuff like this but yeah and the desk pets skitter bots trek bots and tank bots I collected those oh, I had a lot of skitter bots but all those broke down because I used them so much So again, yeah, that's that's the story pretty much. I know I made a bit similar story a few years ago, and that's actually my channel uh, video when you go on my channel. That you know, it's like why so popular or whatever that that video. But yeah. Again, those were from my early childhood. They had that side-to-side, -side, back and forth animation. So, any, like I said, anything I saw that had that animation, I instantly bought it. You can see there's two of those. I had, like I said, I had some things I didn't have doubles, doubles of, but a lot of things I did. I know, and it's a mess in here because I've been trying to fix stuff. I mean, this one isn't turning out too well, but yeah. And I don't have all my dancing hamsters anymore. I gave some to Kevin and some to Bailey, but yeah. Again, this isn't all my stuff. I still have a lot of stuff in the shed and just, yeah. And I've had, there, I, like I said, there's been a lot of stuff that's been thrown away. Like, a lot of... You know, a lot of this stuff, when 
nobody would even know existed because some of the stuff that I had, if I didn't have footage of it, there would be no footage of it. And some of the stuff that I have on my YouTube channel back then, some of it, I, you know, there is no other footage of or, you know, but there's been even more stuff from before I had YouTube that there's no other footage of too. You just, I like I said, I had so many scene and dancing toys, like just and Halloween stuff. But yeah. It was just, you know, fun. It was always fun having, you know, back then, being a kid, having friends come over and just hanging around with this stuff all day. But by that time, it was like a full, it was the Halloween room with all the floating ghosts. So it was really fun. But, yeah, that doesn't happen as often anymore. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. So I hope this basically, I hope you guys got an idea or just enjoyed this video. Um... That's the jumping monkeys I was talking about. I had, you know, four of the black ones, three of the brown ones, and then the kangaroos came, and then the... I don't know if it was the turkey or the va the vampire and Frankenstein, but whatever. And yeah, I know a lot, of, uh, like back then all those Jimmy life sizes were in stores, but I never got life sizes back then. Back then that was too expensive, you know, but that uh, good quality animatronics like the Brain Monster and all those were only $100. And like the life size Dancing Pirate Skeletons and all those, those were only $50 back then. And back then it's just that, you know, they were big life sizes. My parents didn't want those in the house. They didn't want to start a collection of life sizes. You know, all this stuff was an exception, but life sizes they just never wanted to have. And it was, again, at the time expensive, but compared to the prices nowadays, that was, yeah, a steal. But yeah, I like I said, I, was, I had everything pretty much but the Jimmy life sizes from back then. I had a lot of the Halloween stuff. You know, a lot of those were like around from like before I was born, like, but simple shaking shit. Now, you know that's where it kind of started but so those are older than I am some of those shaking things but yeah yeah the crawling hands yeah in 2006 the flying is when I got my first flying reapers the blue face one and the gray face the one with the blue light up face and then yeah Well, anyways, again, for the 10th time, I guess, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, I don't know, comment if you want, but, yeah. I, I really got my thoughts kind of left at this point, so I just, I don't know, I've been just thinking about making this video, talking about that, because I don't know, it's not a video I do often, like I said, and not something that needs to be done often, just, <laughs> it's been a while since I've talked about it, but, I just wanted to reshare with y'all like how I got into this stuff in case anyone was curious and yeah hope you guys enjoyed <laughs>